Hey guys, my name is Big Tina, and welcome back to Battle Brothers. Now, we just finished killing a whole bunch of very evil, very nasty spider monsters, and uh, I was resting in camp to make sure that our guys were back to a good amount of health. And while in camp, we got this. I need to choose a new goal for Vitino's men. So I can choose either we plunder a tomb, or a goblin camp, or something, some other dungeon, or we catch the eye of one of the noble houses for more profitable work. So, hmm, let's catch the eye of one of the noble houses. Uh, I, I have actually already plundered several dungeons, uh, so I think that one's going to be pretty easy to complete, and I would like to get better work. So I think this will be very useful to us. So reach professional renown. Uh, so, oh, apparently we are already at professional renown. <laughs> Thank you to Set Tongues Wagging with the name of the Tino's Men. And thereby increasing your prospects with the nobility, you pushed your men to great deeds, outstanding bravery, and plentiful bloodshed. After several contracts and more than a few skirmishes, you worked hard enough and long enough to have some of the lords taken out of the company's competence. These, the gentle folk who rule the land by virtue of some long dead ancestor subjugating a group of unarmed peasants. As Remold the Wolf puts it, now these pampered, inbred fops are well impressed enough with you to grind the company in, in one of their feuds. If you wash your face and ask politely, they should favor you with a profitable contract now and again. You can congratulate yourself. Great! And hey, our look on the world map has also been updated. We are about to reach into the nobility's deep pockets. So that was a very quick ambition fulfilled. So yeah, I just rested for the night. Our guys should be in somewhat better health. Yeah, they're looking a little better. Poor, uh, poor Wolf from there is, is in rough shape um, with his missing nose. He's He's been through some hard times, Wolf from... Uh, I may actually pull him out of the fighting line until he gets some health back, because he's at less than half at the moment. But, you know, by the time we, we get into another fight... Ooh, a three-skull noble contract is probably out of our league at the moment. Now, I know we did just do a three-skull contract uh, to kill those spiders, and we handled it, I would say, pretty well. But a noble contract is going to be quite different. So, how about we go back up to wait off, see what work they have, and hopefully they have some tools and supplies for us to buy. Because we actually have repaired everything we needed to repair, but we don't have any extra tools. Which means if we get into any more fights, which obviously we're going to do, we have no means of repairing our equipment. Okay, there's a two-skull job for us. And you have no repair tools, but that's fine. That is fine. I'll buy a little bit of food from you. I'll get some venison. The boys deserve some meat. Uh, traders from Schweikoff have agreed to have all agreed to no longer patronize weight off until our little brigand problem is done away with. The history of it is pretty simple, as I'm sure you're aware of the brigands' methods, but these damn vagabonds have been harrying the roads, pillaging caravans, and killing merchants. I know exactly where they are. I just need a man of guts and a need of gold or glory to go and kill them. So let's say you, mercenary, can have a price we can talk. A thousand crowns. I asked for more, and he gives me 1,080 crowns. Cool. That is a good haul for killing some brigands. So let's go down here. We'll raid the Blackjack's camp. And if they have a lot of archers, we'll attack at night. If they have no archers, it will attack during the day. Because archers get a bonus. Okay, they have archers, so we're going to wait until daytime. Just sort of camped out right next to them. Don't mind us. Now we're going to hit them. They've got some marksmen and some raiders. Nothing we haven't faced before. Fighting in the woods this time could be kind of tricky just because navigating around can be difficult like these trees are impassable terrain and so on ouch wait i said i was going to attack at night if they had archers and they do have archers and i wait until i don't know what i'm doing I'm just talking, apparently, and and uh, I, I'm actually a voiceover. I'm not actually playing this game right now. I'm I'm just sort of guessing what's going to happen next. 
yeah, that's that's what's going on. Ooh, I don't like sending people through a one hex wide gap there. But it's not like we have too much of a choice. Unless we try to go down this way. We try to go down that way. That'll give us at least cover from their archers as well. So let's get a little closer to them. We're actually pretty even on numbers here, uh, but they have a lot more archers than we do, which is bad for right now, but will be good once we get into melee, because we'll be able to overwhelm them a bit better. And then we'll just split up into two teams here. Yeah, we have these three guys going there. These five going up. Okay, let's get let's get into some cover from the trees and shoot at them. All right, instantly killed one of their archers. Our archers are actually improving, which is nice to see. Ouch! Poor Humbert took a crossbow to the side. Their melee fighters are actually pretty well armed and armored. A lot of them have chainmail, which hopefully when we kill them, we can take. But we are making a thousand gold from this, so that means I wouldn't be surprised if I lose somebody in this fight. Oh, you just had to reload. Throwing javelins at us. Yeah, this was kind of expected that they would just, you know, hammer away at us while we advance. This is what we normally do to them, um, but uh, this time they have, you know, they have archers and we we don't have many. Ooh, even here, there's just a tiny little gap. They have us in a really bad position, honestly. Because there, we can only get through this one hex. And they'll be able to attack us with, like, three people if we do that. Which is just really bad. Hmm. Maybe I'll put my pikemen here so that they can attack. And then I'll move the rest of my guys up and around. God, our shields are holding. Of course, that makes it sound like, I don't know, some kind of Star Trek game or something. Shields are holding, sir. Alright, now they're moving up into the gap. I'm okay with that. Now we can move into melee range with some of their archers. Now there are these, these bushes here around the, the shrubbery there, and if you stand uh, if you end your turn standing in one of those, then you're actually invisible to the enemy, which is a pretty nice advantage. this way. Not much else for it. Although having both of my archers and pikemen kind of lined up behind this guy, we can shoot whoever's standing here pretty pretty thoroughly. Uh, I do wish I had somebody other than a pikeman here. Somebody with a shield and better armor. Oh, wow. That was a really good shot. Uh, I... Ouch. Uh oh, kind of rough shape up there. And you have a grazed eye socket, which means you are not hitting anybody and should just run away. If there weren't somebody directly behind this guy, I could use Repel and try to run away. 
because Repel knocks them back a hex. But... Yeah... Ooh, and you have Pierce Leg Muscles, which means you have minus 30% melee defense. So you're quite likely to be hit if you try to run away. But you're going to die if you stay there. That is tricky. Maybe I'll hold his turn, see if I can kill this guy, or otherwise get him out of the way. You have rotation! Yes! Okay. We are good. You can just swap out with you. Beautiful. Alright. Now I'm a little less worried about my pikeman there. take another hit from anything, you're dead. So I'm going to pull you back as much as I hate to do so, because now we have two people running away. But I do not want to lose those guys. And I think we're finally getting into a good position here to where we can, you know, actually fight back. Even... Oh, jeez. Their crossbowmen are brutal. about to get axed. Or not. Oh, stunned me there. Well, let's focus on axe guy, because as we've seen with our lovely Geralt, axe guys can be kind of brutal. Is almost dead. It'd be lovely to finish him off. Not quite, though. Killed that guy, though. That was nice. Now we're just gonna file in behind them, hit their archers at last. Oh, no. Okay. They didn't shoot back. Not yet, anyway. They are shooting back here. Oof. Miss Leonard. Man, they like stunning this guy. Need to get into melee with some of these archers. Cause, uh, oh, no, they've blocked up the entrance there. I need to kill this guy quick. Or maybe we can come around. Yeah, I guess we can come around there. Good. Block that axe hit. Alright, cut him down. So now we can get into melee with at least one of their crossbowmen. And he'll just kinda he'll just kinda fall back. I know I'm having these guys just run all over the place, but uh, there's not much for it. Yeah, this is the the trouble with fighting in the woods like this. We're all just spread out all over the place. And it's, you know, there are choke points everywhere and stuff like that. Alright, we blocked that stunning blow at least. This is a really good defense right here. This is what they're doing. Uh, just sort of holding that gap. That's very smart of them. Okay, now they're trying to break my shield. Almost got him. Oh, this guy also finally gets to act. Alright. There we go. Now we're cutting through them. 
And, oh, we can't quite get into melee range with the archers. No, <laughs> I needed that. Now, I, I saw that they actually have an archer up here somewhere, so I'm going to send you out to go hunt them down. Because I don't want that archer coming out surprising me and shooting my guys who are running away and killing them. Nice. Hit that guy with the crossbow and he's fleeing. Oh, god, that, that was... <laughs> I really don't want to lose Leonard. I should probably pull him back as well. And Hasso is stunned yet again. Um, yeah, we'll hold off there. There we go. Kill that defender. There he is. He is trying to get our wounded guys. Of course, he could also hit Leonard there, which would be very bad. At the very least, let's... Try to get these guys into cover. Have some trees between, you know, us and them. Folk. <laughs> this guy worries me. He really, really does. Because he's he's obviously trying to come around and hit my, my wounded guys and finish them off. And I, I don't have anybody who is not themselves wounded to fight him. Or poor Humbert here, who has pierced leg muscles, uh, who can't even catch up to him. Um, I think I can get you into a, a shrubbery there. I think if it, it says that uh, he's running away, I'm going to let him go. Because hunting this guy down through the woods is going to be an absolute pain. So this was this was kind of a messy fight, honestly. Um, you know, in, uh, in a regular, like, we're just sort of lined up against each other battle, um, we would have won that pretty handily. But because they had such a defensive position here, we had to keep circling around them. Oh, good. It's over. It was... Well, it's pretty difficult. Got two guys all up, and nice. Got some chainmail. We got some beer, which of course is very important. They've got 18 repair tools. I think I am going to have another archer. Uh, because they're, they're so useful. They're really, really, really good. So let's check on our dudes. Humbert with his pierced leg muscles. Alright, your morale is pretty good at this point, and so is your stamina, actually. He's going to be very tanky. Gone's up to level 7, it looks like, which is awesome. Or, no, that's the level they are now, so he's level 6. So, wow, yeah, look how many guys I have who are wounded. 
You're wounded, you're wounded, you're wounded, you're wounded. I have no ranged characters who aren't wounded. Yeah, I definitely need to hire a new archer. But we also got some chain mail. A basic mail shirt. And yeah, let's just upgrade our guy's armor a bit. These helmets are a slight upgrade, it looks like. Of course, I do want to use the blue, so, you know, we'll keep that. Okay. Geralt is getting all patched up. Uh, let's give these guys a little, a little better equipment if we can. There we go. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's go get paid. Let's, uh, and then I I'm going to see if I can find that, uh, I think it was Finsterwalder maybe, um, that had the hunters and stuff that I could hire. And I'll see if I can hire one of those guys. Yay, brigands are dead. And let's sell everything we're not going to need. This will mostly be this stuff. I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, I, I love how um, all of these village, all of these villages, and in, in the and the sound effects in the background, all of them have like some feral cat just screeching. Uh, while we're here, let's go ahead and buy some more medical supplies. Cool. And we're doing pretty well on money, which is great. Because that means we can hire some, some better people and we can purchase some better armor. And once again, we are seeing the, the failings of the infrastructure of this, of this kingdom here. Because having a road through here just makes sense. I mean, I guess I guess these two cities are in different kingdoms, right? They're under different noble houses, so they wouldn't they probably wouldn't go out of their way to uh, to connect to one another via road. But it's still just annoying. We go you know twice as fast I think it is using roads. But hopefully we'll arrive there right around dawn so that we can hire somebody and get some more work. It looks like they have a couple of jobs for us. Uh, let's see. Well, you're a bowyer, which isn't quite a hunter, but still pretty good. Guido the Gelding. As a child, his drunkard father took a jagged knife to... Yeah, okay, that's... We'll, we'll stay away from him. Um, I, I understand now why it's why it's a broken carrot there. Yeah. What are you? Oh, flagellant. No thanks. Well, Helfrick looks like our choice for an archer. Again, he's not a hunter, which a hunter is, is kind of the, the best archer around, but a, uh, a bowyer is still pretty good. So we'll, we'll hire you and see what stats you've got. Oh, okay. Alright, that's irrational. He's not a drunkard. I was going to be so angry if he was a drunkard, because being a drunkard makes you really terrible at shooting a bow. But he either has plus 10 or minus 10 resolve randomly at every morale check. And he has plus 1 vision during nighttime. That's actually pretty good. And I did not save any armor for you. Sorry, pal, but I'm sure I'll find some more. You'll bear that. And yay. Now, I know what I should do, now that I'm thinking about it, is I should save the little daggers and stuff, the light weapons that we get, so that I can have backup weapons for my archers. But honestly, the archers are going to suck at melee combat anyway, and so that that's really just going to slow them down with more weight. Alright, but it looks like several of our people have recovered enough to get back into the fighting line. So back up to 11, that's good. All right, a two skull noble contract. What effect is this? Oh no, 
a warehouse burned down, so all this stuff they're selling is going to be at a high price. Yeah. Which is a shame, because we could really use those repair tools. Ooh, we need 29 repair tools. I, I'm going to have to just buy this. I can't, I can't do missions with broken equipment. Alright, let's see what this noble contract is. Baron Ulrich von Goethe is crooning over a map. His eyes darting like that of a hawk over a field of scurrying mice. He seems unable to focus. All over the place. That's where my men are. Here. There. Over there. This part of the map? Doesn't even have a name, but they're there too. Where they're not is here and here, and that's where you come in, mercenary. He pauses to look up at you. I need you to patrol the territories to Coppingen and then to Grunwald to kill anything or anyone that thinks the road belongs to them. I'm sure you know the type. I'm not paying you to take a walk, sell sword. Bring me every head you collect within seven days, and I'll pay you for each. Now, these jobs are interesting. I remember these from the first time I played this game. Because it takes seven days to do this job, and so you're paying your company seven times uh, before you actually get paid with this, which is quite a lot, and you can actually lose money pretty easily. But how much money are we talking? Uh, 240 crowns in advance, another 48 crowns per head, up to 25 heads at most. Uh, so that can actually be quite a lot of money, but I don't think it's going to be... Yeah, it's it's not going to be worth it, because over seven days we're going to have to pay our men without getting paid for anything else. So it's not worth it. Hopefully I'll find a better one in the future. There's a relic this person needs finding by the name of the Shroud of the Founder. Look will give us 150 in advance, 590 when the job's done. Cool. I'll accept that contract. Yeah, I do want to work for the nobles more, but that type of mission is, is really just not worth it. Alright, during camp, we get to choose our next ambition. Uh, let's see. We can save up to 7,500 crowns and buy us a cart. We can train two men to master the hammer. Or we can kill the Walking Dead. I'd like to kill the Walking Dead. I don't know where to find the Walking Dead necessarily. I'd have to go out searching. While this one, these two are ones that we can uh, work towards. So I think I think I'm going to get two men to master the hammer. Because hammers are, you know, good weapons for fighting armored opponents. Uh, they ignore armor or break through armor very easily. What is this? These are monster tracks. I don't know where they're going. Uh-oh. You don't step into the ruins so much as clamber, hobbling over the stoneworks like a bat trying to walk upright. Getting to the bottom of the descent, you find what looks like hundreds of clay pots, old chariots, more mulch than wood, and metal water basins filled with rusted shields and spears. Raynard takes a torch and throws its glow toward the walls. Great murals run along the length of them. Great artworks depicting battles you've never heard of. Each step you take seems to unveil another ancient victory until, finally, you come to a giant painted map. There you see a continent overrun with it, the rule of an empire, gilded its belly, blackened its border. Reinhardt walks over, the shroud of the founder in hand. You nod and tell him it's time to go. When the two of you turn around, there's a man standing there with a spear in one hand and a shield in the other. Another figure joins him, and another. Their steps hitting the stone floor with metal malice. You yell at the mercenary to run, and both of you abandon the ruins in a hurry. The staccato clap of a death march on your heels. Outside you wheel around and order the men to get ready for a fight. Before the first sellsword can so much as draw his sword, a stream of armored soldiers emerge from the ruins, stack formation, and level their spears at you. Their lieutenant points a decayed finger and speaks with a voice so graveled the words weigh deep in your chest. The Empire rises, the false king must die. Okay, well, I was just talking about undead, and here we are. <laughs> I think we're about to fight an undead legion here. In the woods, no less. But I don't think the undead are going to have any archers. At least I sure hope not. So let's just kind of hold position here. And see what they're going to send against us. Alright, so they've got more of those ancient auxiliaries. Which didn't give us too much trouble in the past. The last time we fought them. But I know we've, we've sort of seen scoutings of the, uh, the ancient legionaries before. So I know that there are much harder skeletons out there. But if these are just auxiliaries, we should be fine.
Yeah, it looks like it's a bunch of auxiliaries. That's cool. So we'll hold position. Wait for them to come to us. Now this isn't as much of an advantage as it normally is, because normally, when you hold position wait for the enemy to come to you, uh, they are spending a lot of stamina to get to you. But obviously the undead, well, they don't have lungs, right? So they're not losing any stamina by moving. Oof, that guy hurt. Yes, lovely Reynard with his Warbrand is back in the fight. And, uh, Hubert there is doing very well. Yeah, let's take that health from them. What the hell is that? Necro Savant? Oh my god, that's terrifying! It's like teleporting around via bats. Alright, eh, uh, this, this flank's fine. You guys who are already here handle that. Everybody else move up and fight these things because that's terrifying. Yeah, Geralt, you start making your way up there. Ouch. What on earth? Oh, they can just go wherever they want to. They are just... Yep. They are just free to get around willy-nilly. Uh... Well, that's horrifying. Hubert's in a really bad way now. Alright, Hubert, you're going to defend yourself, and that's it. I get the feeling chasing these guys around is going to be painful. It's weird that they started at such low health, because I haven't really hit these guys yet. Uh, but it looked like when he hit Hubert, he got healed some. So we'll just kind of have to see what that looks like. And, of course, their initiative is very, very high. Yeah, poor Geralt cannot catch this guy. Uh-oh. Okay, good miss there. Good miss. Oh, man, I don't even want, know, what to, know what to do, because Geralt is, like, running around. If he hits anything, it's, it's gonna die. But actually getting him into the fight with these things is going to be a, a nightmare. Because they could just teleport around everywhere. Got a good hit on that one, though. I was really hoping I could finish that one off. Okay. Killed that one. So, Hubert is in better shape now. But I am going to keep him just defending. He's also bleeding. Ouch. Yeah, he's definitely healing as he's hitting us. Oh my god. Our new archer. Oh no, it's the curse of the new guy again. Okay. He's bleeding really badly. I absolutely just... I need to... Uh, I need to finish this quick. Because it's in the forest, we don't have enough. <laughs> we we don't have enough uh, action points to to move and actually attack them, because moving through the forest takes a lot more action points. I really need you guys to end that one. 
How much are you bleeding by? Okay, you're gonna bleed five more. So if that guy teleports around again, we'll be fine. Uh-oh. Nah, you're dead. Yeah. <sighs> Curse the new guy. You would think, and this might be a little callous, but you would think that uh, since we just hired this guy, we could just kind of take our money back. I mean, where's he gonna put it, right? Man, these guys are nasty. All right, this one's almost dead. Now, what that, what happened there is that I technically killed it, but it has the perk nine lives. And nine lives means that once per battle, when you should die, it instead makes that little cat icon, uh, and you stay alive with very low health. Yeah, finally killed that thing. Man, these guys could just get around wherever they want to. Oh, oh, I was worried about Oswald dying. Oh no! Wow, that was a lot of damage. Oh, Hasso. Poor Hasso is dead. Alright, we killed one. And I got an achievement back to the grave, I assume, for killing one of these things. I would say that killing one of these things is achievement worthy. Uh, these things are absolute nightmares, and I don't even know how to position myself because they can just teleport around anywhere they want to. So, we're just gonna kind of hold up, I think. And hopefully we can react to them when they get to us. Ooh, we need to end it next turn or Oswald's gonna bleed to death. Of course, he might just die here if... okay. Yeah, that's... that's not good. Probably gonna lose Oswald as well. This... this job has not paid nearly enough for this. I mean, those skeletons are one thing, but these necro-savants are just brutal. You know, I realize what I should have been doing now is having everybody just sort of gather together. Oh, poor Oswald. He's gonna bleed out. Oswald has died. Alright, where are you going? Over there. That's fine. Yeah, this is why it's it's important to have a good um, a good reserve of money left over uh, that you just gotta keep because when you lose guys, you need to replace them quick. Oh no, there goes Reinert, Reinert, whatever. Is he getting scarier? I think he's getting scarier. I think he's getting a lot scarier. We need to stop chasing him. We need to just hold together in a nice little formation so that wherever he comes, we can we can hit him. So everybody get real close. Ow. Yeah, he's definitely getting stronger the more he kills. This this could honestly just be very bad for us. Okay, there's a good hit from Geralt. Definitely needed that. Lost another. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, let's let's rally. Another good hit by Geralt. This guy is is just brutal. That might have been a mistake because Hubert is wounded, but I need to kill this thing. There. Oh, good. Missed. Almost have him. That's fine. He could be over there. Oh, I can move over there, but I can't attack because of this damn forest. You're gonna attack somebody, he's a good person to attack. <laughs> because he is easily our tankiest guy. Of course, getting to him with Geralt is going to suck, but you know. We'll just hold here. Oh, come on, finish him off! We're down to six guys. Oh, yes, teleport next to Geralt. That's what I want. All right, Geralt, 37% chance. Missed. Damn. Oh, no. Okay, you're not dead yet, but you've got to bleed out. Oh, no. Now no one's even close enough to, uh, to hit this guy. Oh, okay. Well, if I hit him one more time, he dies. So, uh, Hubert, you gotta save yourself here, buddy. If you don't, if you don't kill him on this turn, you die. Oh my god, Hubert the hero. Hey, <laughs> our new guy survived. Nobody else, well, brain damage? I guess that's not terrible. Oh man, we lost four people in that fight, though. What are these swords? Kopesh. They're cleavers. Well, we're gonna have people using Kopeshes. Ooh, Shimmering Ash is worth a thousand gold. And Gemstone's worth 1120. Well, I guess we can hire new people with that much gold. Ooh boy, that was... That was rough. The battle over and the shroud of the founder obtained, you tell the men to prepare to, for a return to Ulrich the Elder. You're not entirely sure who what just attacked you, but right now it's time to get paid. Oh my god. Well, our ranks are terribly diminished now. I need to hire a whole bunch of people. Because right now we have five people in the fighting line. Could use some better armor. That's 95, that's 80. So, yeah. Uh, with that, wow, I've been recording for quite a while. I uh, didn't realize that. I am well over time. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, in the next part, we will be recovering our ranks, hopefully. And I will see you then.